Welcome to the Maternity Mama podcast, where we talk about your pregnancy journey and beyond into parenting. We'll share our own personal experiences and the tips we've learned along the way. Maternity Mama is in partnership with MaternityTraders.com, where you can find gently used maternity clothes for a great price and have them shipped right to your front door. Hey guys, welcome to the Maternity Mama podcast. Thanks for listening. I'm your host, Amanda. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's important for all mothers, but maybe especially pregnant mothers, taking care of yourself and pampering yourself. I find this is super important when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, your body is going through a rough time. It's a beautiful time. You're bringing a baby into the world, but your body is going through a lot of changes in those nine months, and it's hard. It's exhausting. It's so important to take care of yourself. You might have seen the memes going around or seen the quotes, but it's so true. A happy mama makes a happy baby, and that includes when you're pregnant for sure. But here at Maternity Mama, we don't like to just say go spend $1,000 at a spa, although that does sound amazing, doesn't it? Instead, we would rather help you find ways to do what you want to do on a budget at at a reasonable rate for your family. So I have a list here of ways for you to to really pamper yourself during pregnancy or, you know, even not during pregnancy. All mothers need to take care of themselves, right? And ways to stay and doing that on a budget. Number one, and this might be one of my favorites, indulge in your favorite food. I just love that time during pregnancy where you are eating for two, which is the whole time, right? So you can just eat to your heart's content. And I'm not saying that you can't indulge when you're not pregnant. Of course you can. But you really have a really good excuse when you are, right? You know, whatever that go-to guilty food pleasure is, take advantage of it. Do you like to eat cake? Do you like to eat the whole cake? Do you like ice cream right out of the container? Do you want a plate full of cheesy fries or a whole ooey-gooey cheesy pizza or s'mores, I don't know, whatever your go-to guilty food is, as long as it's safe during pregnancy, go for it. You have, you are creating this human being, you deserve it. As long as you make sure that you're maintaining a healthy diet for the most part, you know, you can't eat an entire pizza every day for dinner, it's totally okay to indulge in those cravings. Probably even healthy for your mental health, if anything else, right? Second one. Now, some of you might not be into this, but you might be. Who knows? Read for fun. I know. Let that sink in for a second. When was the last time you actually read something for fun? High school, maybe? College, maybe? Who knows? But this could be a chance for you to just sit down, relax, and read something that you enjoy. That could be a novel. That could be a magazine. Who knows? Whatever your go-to fun reading is whatever you want to whatever you enjoy reading go for it just snuggle up in bed maybe get a nice cup of hot chocolate and dive into whatever you really enjoy reading if you want something new you can always check out your local library for suggestions next thing this one is very good for during pregnancy i think show your feet some love your feet are totally taking a beating right now you are gaining weight You might still be working, you are walking around, you're going to the doctor's office a lot. They're going through a lot, and they're supporting all of that that you're going through. Plus, not to mention the extra fluids in your body, they could be swollen. You need to show your feet some love, they deserve it. So you could easily soak your feet in the tub or in a foot bath, if you have one, with some warm Epsom salts. You could also put some nice essential oils in there, lavender for a relaxing experience. If you have some nice smooth rocks, maybe from crafting, or if you find some somewhere, you can put those in the bottom of the of the tubs and rub your feet on them. It feels really nice on those really tired feet. Show your feet some love. Rest and recharge. This tip I think could mean a few different things depending on what your body needs, and only you know what you need, right? Maybe you just need to put your feet up for a little while and dive into a reality TV show. If it were me, I'd sit and watch the Kardashians for a couple hours. I know, I know. 
but they're my guilty pleasure, man. Just go with it. Or maybe you actually need to just turn your mind off and take a nap. Go into your bedroom, close the blinds, turn off your phone, and rest for an hour or two. Your body needs that, and it's totally okay. There's no reason you can't just lay down. If you have a toddler, maybe wait or call someone to help you, and they can play with the toddler for a little while until you get a good nap in or a good rest time. Their, your village it will be sure to help, I'm positive. Either way, whatever you choose to do during this time, make sure that your brain isn't working too hard. Make sure you're really resting and recharging. Don't turn on, you know, Criminal Minds where you really have to get into it as much as I love that show. You might just need to take a step back and turn your brain off and just relax for a while. And that could mean a few different things for you. Don't work on writing to-do lists for when baby arrives or whatever you need to do. Just take a break. Just relax. Next one. Wearing something pretty. I totally get wanting to be comfortable during pregnancy because as we have talked about, pregnancy is hard on your body. And for me, that often meant that I was wearing maternity leggings and a big oversized t-shirt or maternity sweater. And I loved it. Super comfortable. But there are some days when you just feel blah, right? And you just want to feel good about yourself. Take the time to find an outfit that makes you feel great. You know, you had that outfit before you were pregnant. I'm certain there was that go-to outfit. You can probably picture it right now as I'm I'm talking about it. And it made you feel like a rock star, right? You could get anything done at work. You could get anything done at home. You felt great. You looked good. All of that, right? Maternity outfits can do that too, believe it or not. You find maybe super cute jeans, maternity jeans, and and a great top that makes your bump look good, or a super adorable dress that you just feel great in and you just can rock it and it makes you feel awesome. You can do your makeup, do your hair. Even if you don't have anywhere to go, there's no law or rule that says you can't dress up just to make yourself feel better. And you can do that at home. If you don't have any maternity clothes that do that, please check out maternitytraders.com. We have a ton of options there that will just make you feel great. Plus, for being a Maternity Mama podcast listener, you can get 15% off by using the promo code MMPODCAST15. MMPODCAST15. Go to maternitytraders.com. Find things that you feel will make you feel great because there are maternity clothes out there that will do that. And it will just, it just, there's something wearing a great outfit does for your mental health, I'm telling you. Last one that is for sure my favorite way to relax during pregnancy, take a bath. Ah, it just sounds nice, doesn't it? You know, run the, run the warm water, pull out your favorite bubble bath, and you can light a candle, an aromatherapy candle if you have one, turn on some soft music. Sometimes I would even turn on one of my favorite movies and just set it up on the on the counter so I could watch it while I was in the bath and just relax. I would always turn on the fan too so I couldn't hear anything. My husband would take the toddler and just enjoy that time. Enjoy the warm water just around your whole body making you feel better. I loved taking a bath while I was pregnant. It's so important to take time during your pregnancy to take care of yourself. It will do wonders for your mental health. It's amazing. And it's important to, that, to remember that even before a baby is born, like I said, a happy, healthy mama is a happy, healthy baby that goes before a baby and after a baby, for sure. And when you pamper yourself during pregnancy, you don't have to spend a lot of money. We have, we gave you, I gave you five, six tips today that don't take a lot of money and you can just enjoy indulging and pampering yourself while you're pregnant without breaking the bank and that's so important to do when you have things coming up that take more money out of your budget right and you can do them at home that's another big tip all of these can be done right at home where you don't have to go out of your way to find a place to go or someone to go with you or whatever if you have other ways you like to pamper yourself let us know if you are looking for the blog version of this post check it down in the comment section and we'll talk to you next week Thanks for listening to the Maternity Mama podcast. Be sure to listen in every week and click the follow button wherever you listen to podcasts. 
You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube by searching Maternity Mama Podcast. Also, don't forget to check out MaternityTraders.com, where you can have gently used maternity clothes shipped right to your front door. We'll see you next week.